The success of Ontario's microfit program clearly signals that many Ontarians want to play an important role in generating clean and renewable sources of power for the province. And Hydro One is making every effort to connect as many of these projects as we can, safely and reliably. Ontario's electricity grid is made up of a 29,000 kilometer high voltage transmission network that delivers electricity to large industrial customers and municipal utilities, and a 123,000 kilometer low voltage distribution system that serves about 1.3 million end use customers, mainly in rural service areas along with smaller municipal utilities in the province. To date, more than 75% of the applications to connect small generators are in Hydro One's rural service territory along our distribution system. While we have connected thousands of small projects to the grid, we are approaching the technical limits of the wires and equipment in some rural locations. In these areas, there are two issues that limit the number of projects we can safely connect without putting the grid in jeopardy. The physical limits of power lines and a phenomenon called islanding. First, let's talk about the physical limits. In larger urban areas that are densely populated, Hydro One's wires are thicker and designed to deliver larger amounts of electricity. In rural areas, Hydro One's distribution wires are thinner and deliver a smaller, limited amount of electricity because they were designed to service a much smaller number of customers than in large urban centers. These thinner lines deliver electricity safely and reliably to our rural customers and are able to support the connection of small generation projects spread out across the line. But these lines become overloaded when we try to feed more electricity back to the grid than the line was built to deliver. In some areas where the program is extremely popular, many generators want to connect to the same thin line, but the line isn't able to support the transfer of so much electricity. Second, Let's talk about islanding. Our distribution system knows how to protect itself under certain conditions. During a storm, if a tree falls on a line, the system shuts itself down, just like a circuit breaker. This protects our customers and employees from accidentally coming into contact with a live electrical line. It also protects appliances, like televisions, from uncontrolled surges and drops in voltage. That's what the system was designed to do. When there's a fault, the line needs to be dead. But when you attach a cluster of solar panels to that line, electricity keeps flowing from the solar panels to all points between the panels and the tree on the line. That line is not dead. This is called islanding, and it puts our customers, employees, and equipment drawing power from that line at risk. Right now, the equipment used to prevent islanding is made for large generators. This equipment is very costly and impractical to use for small generators. But Ontario's move to smart meters may provide the answer to these problems. By using our existing network and working with our customers, we're exploring new ways to deliver the cleaner electricity that Ontarians are helping to generate.